Oh, I guess it's time for Wake Up Wahai. Mr. Higgins, how are my amazing Wahai Blue Devils doing? You hanging in there? Tell ya, I've got some good days and some days a little tougher, but I'm always trying to stay positive. I turn to my sources of strength. For me, I'm getting some more exercise than I ever have. I've been eating healthier. I've been focusing on the things I can control. Now, I've been wearing my mask more often too. Consistency on that is gonna be important to get our numbers down in our whole community, because we want you back here. Got it? Blue Devils, can't wait to see you. Have some air high fives right here, but some real ones coming up hopefully sooner than later. Take care, Blue Devils. Hey, Wahai, I'm here with Principal Main, Vice Principal Main right there, and we're gonna take a trip in the Gator around campus and see some construction. We ready for this? I'm ready to go. Let's go. Let's punch it. Let's punch it. <laughs> well, lots of construction going on at Wahai right now. Things have ramped up. As you can see, they're starting to work on the new weight room facility off the big gym. They're starting work on the back side of the library here. Where did all those tables go? They cut the tables out. This is just, this is kind of the area where they park a lot of their big trucks. Is this going to be a new parking lot over here? Yes, it, eventually it will be a new parking lot. This is the vocational building, the back side, the, the courtyard, I guess, of the vocational building. And you can see the big um, ladder up there. They are redoing the roof. Hawaii's coming along quite nicely. We just need to get, we need to get kids back. Hey Wahai, Catherine here. We have two really great college visits coming up next week. The University of Oregon's here on Monday and Western Washington is here on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we have no school, but I am available to do financial aid all day. So seniors, if you need help with financial aid or Common App, reach out to me and we'll figure that out. Otherwise, we miss y'all. Have a really good day. Bye. 9 through 11th grade portraits, since it doesn't look like there will be a picture day anytime soon. The Wahai yearbook staff is asking all 9th through 11th grade students to submit a portrait for the portrait section. We are not looking for anything fancy, just a picture of you with a solid colored background. Fancy backgrounds are what you get to have once you're a senior. Check your email or select the appropriate link for more detailed directions. Be sure to complete the entire form to submit your student portrait today. These are due November 20th. NHS is sponsoring a coat drive for WWPS grade school students. Wednesday, October 28th through Friday, November 13th, the chapter is accepting brand new or gently used and recently laundered coats in youth sizes, extra small to extra extra large, or adult small and medium sized. Drop-off locations are Staples, Northwest Green Growers, The Market by Andy's, or Sherry's Cafe and Pies. Coats may also be dropped off at Wahhead during textbook distribution in November. Contact advisor Kim Cassetto with questions at kcassetto at wwps.org. Wahai students, do you want to learn how to swim? Boys and girls swim teams, they have a meeting November 11th at noon. Go to wahai.link slash join swim for more information. Hey Wahai, this is Andrew Sears, your after school program director. Exciting stuff is on our horizon. I got two cool announcements, two cool announcements for you guys. Number one, on Monday, we're gonna be doing our second episode of the Acoustic Class Break. And I'm going to be showing you guys a guitar that's really, really special. It's from 1938. I'll say that again, 1938. And this guitar has been passed down from generation to generation from one of our para pros here at Wahai. So I can't wait to show you guys that on Monday. Be looking in your email for the acoustic class break. Number two, number two, is that we have another assembly coming up this Tuesday. It's going to be from the JRTC. It's our Veterans Day assembly. Please watch it. Please share it with your community. Here's the link right here that we're going to be sending out to everybody. So please look for our Veterans Day Assembly coming out on Tuesday. Have a great day, Wahai. 
I'm Casey Ostrander, and I'm going to be interviewing Ms. Higgins about the Link Crew. What is Link Crew? Link Crew is a freshman transition program that we have here at Wahai, and we train juniors and seniors to help welcome our freshmen each year. How can Link Crew help freshmen? Link Crew helps build um, a bridge essentially between middle school and high school and it provides welcoming mentors to the freshmen who work with them, not just in a large group or whole group setting, but through small groups. And then there are some follow-up activities at the beginning of school, the school year. And we typically find that by the end of first semester, the freshmen really feel like they're part of the Wahai community. And so they don't need um, necessarily the close um, interaction that they get in the small groups uh, during freshman orientation. Uh, they just enjoy seeing a friendly face on campus. Where can freshmen find resources for a link crew? Uh, freshmen, usually, they can find uh, resources for Link Crew online um, through our website uh, or they can contact any of the Link Crew coordinators, the adult coordinators, as well as the junior and senior Link Crew leaders. This year it's a little bit different um, with distance learning. Uh, we weren't able to have our freshman uh, orientation at the beginning of the school year, but we are waiting uh, eagerly to welcome freshmen back onto campus. Okay. Um, where can, how can Link Crew help with mental health? Yeah, Link Crew can help with mental health. Um, it's, we're mentors essentially, the, uh, especially the Link Crew leaders are mentors in the sources of strength, um, for example, on the wheel that uh, we've referred to. Um, they provide, again, just a great connection to welcome a you know, group of students at the beginning of the school year who, you know, quite frankly, it can be a little scary to go to a new high school, um, especially one that's so, um, so big, uh, but it is, it's been really um, a great program and uh, mentors, I really believe for the juniors and seniors, they are strong mentors for those freshmen. Thank you, Ms. Higgins, for the interview. Thanks, Casey. It was nice to talk with you. I'm Colleen. And I'm Brayden. And I'm Jerry. And I'm Sasha. And I'm Andrew. Have a great day, Wahai.